Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Netus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos in this playlist, we talked about lactic acid, lactate dehydrogenase, sputum sampling, Benz Jones proteins, urine uric acid, urine chloride, urine potassium, urine leukocyte esterase, urine nitrites, urine osmolality, urine ketone bodies, urine electrophoresis, urodynamic studies like the urine flow study. And we talked about microscopic examination of the urine. Today let's talk about another topic in urinalysis which is pyuria. Pyu means pus, urea means urine. What are the cells that make pus? These are the neutrophils. That's why we call them pus cells. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. As you know, your blood is made of plasma and cells. Plasma is water plus plasma proteins, including albumin and globulin. The cells are red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The white blood cells are neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, lymphocytes. Which one of these are the pus cells? Neutrophils. Which one of these mainly target bacteria? Neutrophils. Here are the neutrophils. Here are the eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, lymphocytes. Neutrophils are also known as polymorphonuclear cells or pus cells. Some anatomy. You have two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder, one urethra. If I have bacteria in the urine with no symptoms, we call this asymptomatic bacteriuria. For most people, it's no big deal. For pregnancy, it is a big deal. Infection, my urethra is called urethritis. In my bladder is called cystitis. In my ureters, ureteritis. In my renal pelvis is called pyelonephritis. Pylo means pelvis, nephro means kidney, itis means inflammation. Acute inflammation, itis, itis, pay attention. Redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function. Ruber, color, tumor, dollar, functual, let's say. If I have a urinary tract infection, it could be that I have no symptoms, or I could have symptoms, depending on how bad the UTI is and which organ is affected. If I just have urethritis, I might have frequency, urgency, burning, dysuria, and pyuria. If it's in the bladder, cystitis, I'll have these symptoms plus suprapubic pain or tenderness. If I have pyelonephritis, which means extension, to the renal pelvis, I'll have all of these plus fever and costovertebral angle tenderness. How can we diagnose urinary tract infections? First of all, signs and symptoms, and then you go to the lab. Look for pus in the urine. Look for white blood cells in the urine. Look for leukocyte esterase and nitrite in the urine. Look for the actual organism in the urine, and you can do this by urine culture. Treatment is antibiotics. In my previous video on microscopic examination of urine, I've told you that if I have zero to four white blood cells in the urine by high power field microscopy, it's no big deal. But five or more white blood cells, we start to worry about UTIs. The greater the number of white blood cells, the greater the likelihood that this is a urinary tract infection. And when you see white blood cell casts, you know that this is coming from the tubules of the kidney. And I've told you about the story or the analogy of the ice cubes before. If the ice is shaped like a cube, I know that the container it's shaped like a tube. So if I see white blood cell cast in the urine, by the way, the cast will look something like this, they have the shape of the tubule. So they are coming from the kidney tubule. So blame the kidney tubule. Do not blame the bladder or the urethra. The problem is probably in the kidney tubule. We will need urine nitrites. They are positive in bacterial infection. And I've talked about this in a separate video in this lab's playlist. I also talked about urine leukocyte esterase. Again, I have a separate video on this topic. Now to urine pyuria. Normally, white blood cells should be not in the urine or one, two, three, maybe four. But more than five white blood cells in the urine, we start thinking about urinary tract infection. If we have also white blood cell cast, we blame the kidney tubule. Maybe I have pyelonephritis or interstitial nephritis or glomerular nephritis or lupus nephritis. Nephro means kidney, itis means inflammation. The tubule is part of the kidney. But if I have white blood cells in the urine with no casts, it's coming from something under the kidney. Maybe it's the bladder or the urethra. How can I tell the difference between bladder infection and urethra infection? Obtain two specimens or two samples of the urine. If you find more white blood cells in the first sample, 
it means it's coming from the urethra because the urethra is closer to the outside world. So you'll find more white blood cells in the first sample. But if you find more white blood cells in the second sample, it means it's coming from a deeper structure, the bladder. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. If I find white blood cells in the urine, what's the next step? Urine culture. Because I want to know which specific organism is causing this. You can learn more about it by watching this video. And if you want urine culture, it has to be a clean catch midstream sample. And the most common cause of urinary tract infection, of course, is E. coli. Asymptomatic bacteriuria for most people, no big deal. During pregnancy, big deal. Learn about asymptomatic bacteriuria, endometritis, pelvic inflammation, inflammatory disease, vaginitis, and much more by downloading my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. How do we treat UTIs? Antibiotics such as nitrofurantoin, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, quinolones, amoxicillin, or even ciftriaxone. You can learn about these antibiotics, their mechanisms of action, indications, contraindications, what organisms they cover by downloading my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. For more urology topics like testicular torsion, acute epididymitis, the interesting phenomenon of low implantation of the ureter, kidney stones, urological tumors, urine retention, urine incontinence, Continence, acute obstructive pyelonephritis, which is an emergency, download my surgery high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.